Hi, hello everyone. My name is Sandra Moreno, and I would like to thank you for coming to my pre second presentation. Um, today, we're going to talk about fighting cholesterol with cardio. Um, for those of you who attended my first workshop, um, we discussed, uh, well, it was lowering your cholesterol, and we discussed uh, ways in which, you know, what cholesterol is, ways to kind of manage it through food, foods that kind of help you lower it, and um, just how it affects your bodies and the risks that you can obtain by having really high cholesterol. So today we're gonna discuss how cholesterol is affected by um, exercise and how to prepare to start implementing exercise in your daily activities, and, you know, daily life. Um, along with uh, what you should do before you get started, okay? So, uh, ways in which cholesterol is affected by a cardio workout. Um, we have, a, it helps uh, lower and maintain weight. One of the reasons that this is good is because when you, when you were, for example, overweight and if you start exercising, it can help you lose weight and decrease any risks of developing heart attacks or strokes with um, high cholesterol. Um, once you start, it can also help you maintain the weight, healthy weight. Um, another thing that it helps with is lowering your LDL, um, and it moves uh, the LDL that you have in your blood and it transports it to your liver. Now, the reason this is good is because um, when it's transported from your bloodstream, which we discussed in our first uh, presentation, was you know it can help, uh, it can block your arteries, and that's what causes uh, the heart disease. I mean, the heart attacks and strokes. Uh, so it helps remove the cholesterol from your blood, and it moves it to your liver, where it is then converted to um, bile. Now, bile is used for digestion uh, of fats, and we want this, but when you have high cholesterol, you have too much in there, so instead of using it to digest your fats, it can also be excreted, which uh, with high cholesterol is what you want. Now, to implement this from a current, to kind of have it happen, we need to increase your HDL, which uh, we have uh, one of the benefits, oops, sorry, one of the benefits of exercise, you increase your HDL. Now, um, they kind of figured out that a study that they performed in 2012, that a vigorous workout, so a really good a cardio workout um, that's pretty vigorous will help in increase your HDL faster than a moderate exercise. So we kind of want to start slowly and kind of get there to a more vigorous workout and your health condition. Um, and along with this, as I stated, it helps to decrease your risk of heart disease and stroke. Now, before you even start exercising, some things that you should kind of consider um, before you begin is talking to your doctor. That's one of the things we want to do, especially if we haven't had any exercise in a daily routine. We kind of want to make sure that we're in a healthy state and if they can make any recommendations, maybe start off slower than normal maybe 10 minutes um, and then slowly increase it to uh, 30 three times a day type stuff of a uh, 10 minute increments to kind of reach a total of 30 minutes a day. Um, so first thing you want to do is talk to your doctor. Second, um, time. When you're planning to do exercise in throughout your day, you want to make sure you have enough time to do it. You don't want to start it and then all of a sudden just stop in the middle of it. You don't want to risk injuring yourself or causing any issues. So you want to make sure you have enough time to do a warm up, your exercise, and your cool down. Those are some very important things to do. So time is very important. Third is your attire. You want to make sure you have your proper clothing. You want to be flexible. So you want to make sure you have, you know, something depending on what type of exercise you're doing. You want to make sure that you can move freely along with, um, having shoes that are appropriate for the workout. You don't want to be working out in heels or work shoes, very formal work shoes. Very uncomfortable and can't really move as nicely and you don't have the support. 
Now, when you're getting started, they recommend 30 minutes a day, three to four, three to five times a week. Um, like I said earlier, if you're barely starting and you haven't done exercise at all, then you want to start off maybe if you feel 30 minutes is too much, 10 minute increments and make it a total of 30 minutes a day. So 10, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes in your evening, just to kind of slowly, gradually do it. And then once you feel like it's a little bit easier and you can handle it, uh, we can increase it to 30 minutes and just kind of go about that. Now, some of the exercises you want to do to kind of have this occur, you want a good cardio workout. This would include your jogging, uh, walking, kind of a good uh, speed. You don't want to just be like dragging your feet along. Biking, uh, yoga, Pilates, along with your gardening and swimming. Now, if you have bad knees, uh, you can kind of start off with doing maybe some Pilates, some yoga, biking, swimming, stuff like that. You want to pick something that you enjoy and you want to pick more than one thing. You don't want to do the same thing every day, kind of vary it up, make it fun. Um, another thing you can do with walking is if you have pets, like dogs, uh, you can walk your dog. Okay, now we're going to have a little activity. Um, I'm going to play a little video for you on some of the exercises that I discussed. I want to have you focus mainly on the yoga because we are going to be doing it after the video, okay? inhale reach up and forward fold so you're getting flexibility training in hands to floor step one foot back then the other press back to down dog coming forward so this is a little bit of yoga can really help increase circulation which is going to really help you feel great and reduce your cholesterol so that's yoga jogging, brisk walk, jogging, anything that's going to really help kind of get the heart pumping. So jogging in place and also Pilates. Come on down. Simple, feet flat, knee to chest, leg long, just pulling the leg in. You're really strengthening those muscles. You're really starting to move. And those are just a few ways, the things you can do that will really help lower your cholesterol. So I'm going to have you guys stand up. We're going to do a really quick uh, here. When I put some pictures up here, in case you haven't done it before, we're just going to do like a really quick breathing in motion. Exhale as you go down. Touch your toes. And now we're going to reach to this position right here. Extend kind of like almost like if you're going to do a, um, like if you're reaching out type stuff. I'm going to walk around and while some of you guys do this if you guys have any questions. Um, after you kind of reach out, you're going to go to a position where you're almost, you know, going to do a push-up type stuff. After your push-up, we're going to almost like if you're a dolphin reaching up from the water. Alrighty, um, after that, we go back uh, to this position. And then from there, it's just a matter of slowly kind of walking your, your legs up so you don't like injure yourself. And from here, you just kind of breathe in and come up. Alrighty, so everybody can sit back down. <laughs> stretching especially uh, if you're barely starting there's no impact so it's pretty good um, so I'm gonna do a little quick quiz from what we just discussed about exercise and how it affects uh, our cholesterol 
What increases with exercise? HDL. HDL. All right. Um, what should we do before implementing exercise? Consult your doctor. Yes, consult your doctor. I'm hamburger eating every once in a while, but and um, I didn't discuss that already. So, which exercise help lower cholesterol? All of them. All of them. All of them. Yes. And then, um, does exercise help move LDL from blood into your liver? True. All right. So hopefully you were able to get some ideas as to how exercise is beneficial for your health and lowering your cholesterol. <clears throat> some ideas of what type of exercises to choose from, especially if you're starting off, how to do that. Um, have a better idea of how to go about that. Uh, does anybody have any questions? <coughs> Well, hopefully uh, this was very informative and you can start implementing some exercises in your daily activities.